we have a problem at the border. Now, I'm a, I'm not a, a child, I'm a child of privilege, but if you look back at, you know, my history going back to the 19th century as Italians and Irish, they were not treated well. If you look at, I know American history, okay, if you look at how Chinese were treated in the early 20th century, how women were treated, how blacks were treated, how gays were treated, every generation discriminates against somebody and the next generation has to reverse it. And some of that's relating to immigration. People are saying immigrants are not only bad, but they're, they're giving American people a sense that immigrants are dirty. And every one of us, I'd like to ask a Native American, what do you think of immigrants? Huh. But um, the fact is that immigration is a problem. There are too many immigrants taking advantage of the system. There was, a, 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 I thought, an underreported story this week about how the White House is giving more administrative authority to immigration officials to reject people. I think that's part of the answer. We should be setting a far higher bar for who gets in here and also supporting who gets over that bar much more aggressively. You're really saying that? Yes. If people, yeah. and I would I think figure, a lot of people would agree with you on that. It took us a well, long time it. to come to America. I went to Germany at a refugee camp before I came here. It, we had to sacrifice uh, parents getting a divorce, our entire money that we had, everything just to come to America. So uh, I, I, uh, I think a lot of people in America, as a as a person that was born in Iran, 10 years there, two years in Germany at a refugee camp, year and a half, that finally made it here, I value this place a ton on how long it took us to get here. It was a dream that they would came but here. Then, but then to be clear, when yeah. you get here, support for your children, food and kindergarten, support for, for your family in terms of medical care, there's a cost. Whose well, job is that, though? I'd say partly that it's the job of the government. Why is that the government's job? To educate a child. No, no, to pub, give help. To, to, no, public school, you're right. No, no, yes. public school, you're right. But, but what is my, my responsibility when I come? Do, I, do you owe me more or do I owe you more if I come here? I Who, think both owe each other. I disagree. I disagree. How could you say that? How could you say that? Well, how can a person, I but, pay a lot of taxes. That person's not going to pay a lot. I just paid a lot for them to go to school. Wait, I don't have kids. Wait, let, let me get this straight. So an immigrant is wanting to come to your house. Yes. I want to come to your country. Yes. You owe me the same amount as I owe you? I owe you a lot. No, no, you don't owe me, bro. That's incorrect. I, I owe you. I, uh, you want to disagree or you want to yell at but, me? But, but no, no, I'll you, come across the but, table. I'll crush you like a bug. Let's do <laughs> it. I'd love to see it. But the point I'm trying to make to you right now is the following. I but, feel I feel I owe you. I feel I, I agree owe with that. you. Okay, so that's the part where a little bit of the mindset right now is the fact that people are saying America owes the immigrant. I don't agree with that. I think, I think if I... Uh, so, so, for example, let's just say Goldman Sachs gives me an opportunity to work for them, okay? If I work for Goldman Sachs, Goldman Sachs was here before I was here. I owe Goldman Sachs for the opportunity. Michael Jordan is about there. LeBron says we should retire to number 23 permanently. Michael Jordan says, listen, man, this league is bigger than one player. Jordan owes the league more than the league owes Jordan. Well, I mean, so the immigrant owes America. This whole concept about America owes the immigrant, I never I, came I, here I, thinking America I, owes me anything. I think you're misunderstanding me. Yeah. I have a couple things. to First of all, to, to be clear about what I said before I get, well, we, we, we will get attacked from both sides. I think the bar should be higher, but when someone gets here, there's a couple things that go on. To be idealistic, if you're a human being, I want to give you the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Totally get it. But there's, there's a brutal economic piece. And that is, as someone who pays, like I say, a ton of taxes without kids, so I'm paying for other kids to go to school, I'm paying for, for everybody who doesn't believe in socialism, then I get to pay the same taxes you do, and I don't. We have socialism in this country, and that part of that means I pay a ton more than you do, and you use the same services. But my point is just to be purely and brutally economic, a child who goes through a good education, particularly at the primary level, if that child doesn't have access to food, I want them to have access to food. If they don't have access to medical care, I want them to, because I want to ensure that I don't have to pay for them in the back end. To pay for somebody, if a child is educated and healthy, the chance that they'll contribute, and I'm talking about money, they're going to get a better job. They're going to be less likely to use public services. They're going to be less likely in older age to be unhealthy. They're going to pay more in taxes. So I, I, there's, a, there's a brutal economic piece to what I'm saying as well. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.